What's going on, Rich Demuro here, Rich on Tech, taking a look at the brand new Google Nest Hub 2. This is a smart display with a seven inch screen that can control all of your smart home devices, but it's got a new feature that tracks your sleep. So let me just show you what this is all about real quick. This is the uh, mist green color. You've got this removable connector for your power supply. You've got a microphone on and off switch. The mic's off. The mic's back on. And you can see when it's the off, it's off. got this little color here to let you know that it is indeed off. The mic's back on. And you've got a volume button right here. So this uh, functions, you know, as your standard smart home display. You can use it to display pictures that you've taken or, you know, pictures that Google chooses. You can also use it to control your smart home devices. So it's here in the bedroom. So I can turn the lights on and off and adjust the color. You can see the weather. You can also ask it all your smart home questions like, uh, hey, Google, what's the weather like in Tokyo today? It'll be clear there Tuesday with a high of 57 and a low of 46. You can also use it to play music. Uh, but the real, uh, the real new feature on this is the ability to have it track your sleep. And so you put this on your bedside, you can see the little, little logo right there. And that means that sleep sensing is active. And so when you put this uh, on your bedside, it uses a little tiny radar sensor called Soli to send waves out and monitor how you're sleeping. So um, these are microphones and this is where the radar sensor lives. So there is no camera in this device and Google figured uh, or learned in their research that a lot of people put the original version of this on their bedside. And so it was the perfect place in the bedroom because there is no camera up here. This is just a sensor. So once you go to sleep, you don't have to do anything special. You literally just aim this at your body and the radar sensor will go to work while you sleep and it will just sense your breathing and um, you know when you fall asleep, all these really interesting stats. So let me show you the stats because when you wake up, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to wear like a special band. You don't have to wear a smartwatch. You don't have to activate anything. You don't have to do a thing except set this up once and then it just figures out when you go to sleep and it gives you your data in the morning. So here's your data. I slept six hours, 43 minutes last night. It tells you exactly when you went to sleep, exactly when you woke up, your duration, it tells you uh, your quality, which was uh, restless. And that is very true last night because I'm a little um, jet lagged from going over to Hawaii. You can tap for more details. So this gives you the finer details of your sleep. So the exact amount of time you slept, six hours, 43 minutes, which is typical. Time it took me to fall asleep, 37 minutes, which is really long for me. And it gives you all the times that you were awake uh, during your sleep. So you can see asleep, in bed, and then awake. So um, gives you your schedule, gives you a little bit more depth, uh, in-depth data for different days. And you can keep kind of swiping through. Here's some more information here. Tells you how many times you coughed, tells you how many times you snored, and your respiratory rate, which I don't really know what's good for the respiratory rate, but I, I seem to hover around you know, 13, 14, and you can also go into this week, but I guess you can press here. Okay, for most adults, respiration rate is between 12 to 20 breaths per minute. So um, then you have a little warning that this is not meant to sort of cure anything. But it's really interesting data, and uh, I think it's fun. You can also access the same data on your smartphone here. So uh, whether you have Android or iOS, all you have to do is download the um, Google Fit app, and it puts all of your data in the app as well. So you can see all the same stuff, and here you see some more data. People usually need seven to nine hours, and you know it also gives you insight. So here's that little restless period I was talking about, where I got up one, two, three, four times, and then your respiratory rate is mapped out on a little um, graph here, so you can see that information. And then on your home screen, it should tell you um, some sleep insights. So the whole point of this is to actually help you sleep better. So you get some sleep insights, which it's telling me with something I already know, my bedtimes are inconsistent based on the last week's worth of data. And it's telling you to find a time that you can go to sleep every single night at the same time or around the same time. So you wake up feeling refreshed. So that's the whole point of this is that you get 
you know, your data is analyzed so you actually can get better sleep as you use this more. So you can turn this on and off. You don't have to use it. Although if you're not using the sleep sensing data, I would just go with the original Nest Home Hub. You probably don't need the second version, even though the audio is a little bit better in this one. But if you, to me, I think the sleep sensing is a really, really cool feature. And the fact that you don't have to do anything special to activate it or use it, is really, really worthwhile, especially if you're having trouble sleeping or if you're just uh, interested in your sleep. All right, this sells for $100. It's available right now. Google says they will not use any of the sleep data to sell ads uh, for you or you know put it in your profile or anything like that. So it is private. And again, this is the Google Nest Hub 2 available now, $100. Do you have any questions? Leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Rich Demiro, richontech.tv. Take care.